Hey, what's going on? We're back here. We're back back another video. And I know, I know you guys are going to say, Where the heck have you been? Well, family. Yeah, that's my excuse. Freaking Thanksgiving crap, man. Come on. You can't blame me for that, can you? So, yeah, don't care. I'm back. Feels good to be back. Let's do this. And, you know, on break. Let's go. My name is Onage Pranks. I'm a voice actor, and prank calls are my specialty. I called up this lady who runs an accent reduction company. She provides a service for African Americans to help them reduce their Ebonics accent. Allegedly. She claims that this can help people be more successful in the workplace. So I called her up as Tyrone to see if she could help me sound a little bit more white. Here's how that went down. Oh my god. Hello? Uh, yeah, hey there, how you doing? Good, how are you? I was actually calling about the, uh, the dialect culture. Okay. I, I know y'all do some, like, accent reduction and stuff like this, so I'm trying to get into, like, a different industry, and I was seeing if, like, uh, okay. you know, y- y- y'all could help me tone it down uh, a little bit. Okay. All right. So, what is your name? Uh, it's Tyrone. Basically, uh, Tyrone, our program, so it really depends on what you need and what your your issues are. J- just to be like real with you, I, I'm, I'm kind of trying to get into the sales industry, and right now I've been doing a lot okay. of cold calls and stuff like that, and I feel like people don't take me seriously, you know what I'm saying? So I was just trying to do whatever I can just to sound white as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to <laughs> just sound like real, like real clear, real, like, like just like a white dude. All right, so you, you just want to be clearer so that you are you, you feel more confident in your voice and you don't feel like people are judging you. That might be a softer way of saying it. Yeah, yeah, well, let's go with that. Okay. So you're Spanish. What is your native language? Um, my, my native language is, is black. I, I, I'm, I'm just... Okay. I'm, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, fine. So it's just dialect-based. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, so basically we're, what we would do is we'd work on just... Um, Working with, you know, the vowels, the consonants, and your reading and pronunciation. Yeah, because, like, if, if I came up to you and I was like, yo, what's popping my dude? Like, I'm just trying to sell you some windows and stuff like that. I guess I can kind of understand why, like, maybe it doesn't seem like the most professional, but I was just trying to see, like, I'm going to be like, hello there, sir. <clears throat> How are you doing? Like, something like that. Or, like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. Oh I understand God. what you're saying. You want more business professional speech. And you want to work on the way that you're articulating things. Uh, yeah, yeah, precisely. <laughs> Do you ha- is there a budget that you have to stay within? I mean, you, it's hard out here for a pimp, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like hustling right now. So I mean, I'm intrigued to hear what the offerings are. I can kind of move some finances around, see what's happening. But, you know, YouTube's demonetizing right now. So, like, money's tight, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so you want to do something <laughs> in sales. That yeah. would be your ideal oh, dream job, bad, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And improve right. the speed. Yeah. So basically, y'all saying, like, I, I want a softer voice for that. Like, in a perfect world, people won't, like, lock their doors when I come up there and try to sell them knives or something, something like that. At the same time, I want to see if it maybe helps my relationship. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to pick up some white honey, some stuff like that, just to white kind of diversify honey. a little bit. You know, like, t- taste the <laughs> rainbow, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, so what we offer accent reduction. So what that is, is it's modifying your speech so that you're speaking, like, standard American English. So very clearly... I got you. Well, I'm, um, I'm just curious, like, based on what you heard from me so far, like, what would you say my articulation skills are? Like, are they lacking at the moment? Like, if you could scale it on, like, 1 to 10, 1 to 5, something like that, like... So we all come... I, I can see where, where you want to work. Uh, I think that what we can do is better, you know, your vocabulary and speech so that when you're speaking, you're slowing down and things are coming more across more that. clearly doing that? and you're using etiquette got you, you in very, certain you, situations you're a very sweet woman but is that like a one or a two on, on a scale of one to ten like just keep it real with me keep it funky you know what i'm saying like i don't know like right now you're talking to me like i would be talking to you out maybe if i, I this would not be business professional got you like if we oh met at God. a club and i was like you know like after you assess me i'm trying to assess that ass like that it would be like that <laughs> kind of like like unprofessional like just you know banter that kind of thing right because I, I gotta be able to turn it on and turn it off Yes, but you know that, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. But uh, usually when I talk to somebody, it's like, hello there, sir, how you doing? You know, I'm just, I'll be, you know, sir. You don't have to be... necessarily talk like that. You don't have to become a different person. We just want to improve the way that you are right now. Understood. So I, I did find, like, a, like there was a Rosetta Stone type booklet, like I found online as an e-book mm-hmm. about how to try to, like, tone down the voice a little bit. So I've been practicing myself. I don't know if I should kind of toss okay. that stuff out the window or, like, start fresh with you. But, like, for, for example, if I was yeah. coming in for a job interview, I, I would try to be like, uh, like, uh, hello there, my name is Tyrone. I, I wanted to come in, hopefully, today for... <laughs> well, why, why are you laughing? Like, is it bad or is it good? Like, be, be, no, be, no, like, sorry. No, 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 no. But I, that's <laughs> not you. You don't want to change who you are. 
you just want to be comfortable so that you're using the, the right language. But, you know, it's hard for me because, like, it's weird, but, like, I got to tug on my ball sack to become, like, sound like a white dude. I can't sit through a whole interview doing that, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of weird. Yeah, no, that's not what I want. I just want to improve your articulation within who you are without changing who you are to become something that you're not. I, no, I, I understand. I, I, I understand because because I'm pulling really hard right now, and it's, it's hard for me. Y'all saying, oh, I gotta, I gotta, "Oh my yeah. gosh!" <laughs> All right. So the first step basically would be an assessment. You'd come in here for an assessment. The fee for that is 125. But is there like a science behind like the ball sack tugging or something like that? Because I was trying to wean off. I don't know if it's like a mental thing or like a real thing. Because people say like you know when the voice changes, like oh like like that dude's balls dropped. So I, I honestly, I'm a little confused in that regard. You, um, we, for you, it's more vocabulary based and oh making sure God. that you're pronouncing, you know, all of the letters and sounds. Got you. How tight is your grip exactly? Can you give it a tug or like would that be inappropriate? Whoa, whoa, um, whoa, you, whoa, whoa. I, I'm, I'm not clear. It's well, like I said, like, I went to see my, like, my psychiatrist because of that, but like what okay. helps me usually is now if I, like, if I tug like r real hard on my balls, it, it helps me kind of sound more like a white guy, but I, I can't sustain that if I'm in a cubicle all day, it's <laughs> oh fine, God, but if, if I'm going dude. door to door, I can't really be sticking my, my hands on my pants, you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay, is this a joke? Uh, uh, <laughs> are you joking? Like, where are you calling from? I'm actually dead serious. I, I know it's strange, but I brought it up kind of cautiously on purpose because I'm, I'm oh embarrassed. Oh my you know, god! Like, Did you get hang not, up? Hold on. <laughs> it's not fun up. for me either, but you know, I'm just I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. Okay, so I, I mean, I don't, you're t I don't know how to answer what you were talking about, but. So if basically, you work on your last time I went to an interview, I literally tugged on my balls until they were black and blue, but I could talk like this and it was great. But then the guy ended okay, up. So I can't. Yeah, I understand. What you're, okay, but, but I'm not. But, uh, all serious. I'm saying is we can, we can like, <clears throat> sorry, but we can keep it clinical. You know what I'm saying? Like you can wear like whoa, gloves whoa, and stuff whoa, like whoa. that. Like we can be in a oh, public shoot. place. It's so good. Like I ain't trying to make you uncomfortable table or nothing like that, but I'm also <laughs> well, trying to get you. Right now. I honestly think you might do better working with a male if this is something that's <laughs> serious and you're really interested in working in this area. Oh, damn. But it's, uh, it's uh, are, are really you? nice talking to you. No, for sure. It's just, I feel like it might be kind of gay if I have a guy tucking on it. And, like, my masculinity is very sensitive. So th th that's all. <laughs> just, oh, my God, dude. <laughs> okay, yeah, I understand that. So if you oh. want to talk in person, I'd rather talk with you in person and see you face to face. I understood. But if I have one hand on my pants so I can sound like this, like, would you be okay with it? Just like, I don't want to, like, put you, um, alarm you or think that it's anything inappropriate. <laughs> Dude, that lady was honestly a fucking trooper. <laughs> she, I don't know how she kept. I think she got partially believed the ball sack thing. I Thanks for watching, did. OP crew. How amazing would it be to have a bacalolo call up an accent training coach like this? Let's get this video to just twenty five thousand likes, and I'll give them a ring and post up the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button with. No okay, what the? Did I click on another? Oh, I didn't mean to click on another video. No, go back. Notifications on to you. Oh my god. Dude, stop you that. You never miss a video. I appreciate all the love and continued me. support. And I'll Okay, I'm curious how long ago did you subscribe? Um. That, dude. I'm not gonna lie to you. Just that. So, yeah. Hold your likes to video, guys. And I'll see you next time. So, yeah. So